Hey, I'm going to take a quick second to thank this week's sponsor, NordPass. Uh, Are you tired of trying to log into your bank account or your Netflix or whatever, and they're saying, hey, that's the wrong password, and you're like, okay, well, fine, and then you try to change it, and they're like, well, you can't use any of the last five that you use. Joke's on you, and you're like, okay, well, I've only had four pets, all right, so you can't (laughs) You're trying to think of a different password, you know. NordPass takes care of all of that. They create a strong password for you. They save it. You can actually share an encrypted version of that password with the people who use your Netflix account. You know, all your <laughs> friends that are mooching off of you. Uh, and we have a special deal with them. Uh, that they'll give you 50% off signing up if you just check them out. It's Tillin.com slash NordPass. N-O-R-D-P-A-S-S. NordPass. It's so that uh, it's for people like you and me uh, who cannot remember a single password. I literally have a sticky note on my computer. It's very not secure. <laughs> so, tillin.com slash NordPass. Hey, man. What's up? Have you ever heard of the Demon Core? Yeah, that's a really good band. I love them. <laughs> they're, uh, they're that Christian band that tours around, right? That's the Demon Tour. No, 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 no. Demon Hunter, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Demon, Demon, Demon Core. Hunter was like a, like a, like a, um, they did metal. Yeah. Did they, did they scream? Yeah. Were they, they a screamo band? They did. They but did. they, did they sing also? Yeah, they did. They were, they were like the, uh, a little heavier, but kind of like the Christian Disturbed is what I would say. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little heavier than Disturbed. But yeah, also they had that demon on the cover and their name was Demon Hunter. So, my mom threw away all my Demon Hunter CDs. I was like, Mom, they're a Christian band. Yeah, because like, they're, no, they're not. I was they're like, hunting they're hunting demons. demons. And she's like, yeah, you don't do that. That's stupid. Yeah. And I'm like, shut up, Mom. You see all the demons I caught? Mom, <laughs> go lock the door. <laughs> and then like, while she's out there locking the door, you're like, oh, 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 oh. I can't name a single Demon Hunter song. Really? I can't think of one right now. My favorite is Triptych. Which Triptych? Uh, yeah, that's, that's the third biscuit. <laughs> Hey, if you like things I learned last night, make sure you support us on Patreon. Doing that, we'll make sure that you can watch episodes ad-free. You can ask us questions about the episode or just about like us because we're weird and it's fun. Uh, so support us online. That's tillin.com slash join. That's J-O lowercase L in. <laughs> so Demon Core. Demon Core. Yeah, that's the new math program they're doing out in the, the high school. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Demon Core math? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, this ain't nothing like what we learned in school. This is Demon Core, demon is what it core. is. This is de- com- 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 de- demon Core. Demon Core. Demon Core. core. You know, just do a call in my house. I can keep going. <laughs> uh, are you saying Core? Let's say C O R E or C O R P? C O R E. Oh, okay. Dang it. I was like, I really hoping it was going to be like, oh, yeah, that's like the the sector of the of the government, like the military that they don't tell us about. Yeah. Like we got the Marines, uh, Air Force, Army, National Guard, Navy, Space Demon Corps. Force. Space Force and Demon, Demon Corps. Corps. <laughs> Someone's got to yeah. defend us against the demons. Yeah. You, you can't let those denims in. Yeah. And, then, Watch out and for the they denims. try to play it off like it's all a big joke. Like they put it on Discovery Channel yeah, as like, like ghost they're hunters. They're Demon Corps. Like, what's up, demons? It's me. You know, but Demon Core is a real thing. <laughs> it's a right? real thing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty close. Uh, the Demon Core uh, was a spherical 14 pound subcritical mass of plutonium uh, that was developed in World War II. 14 pounds? 14 pounds. Sphere. Yeah, so it's this 14, 14 pound, pound ball. medicine ball of. <laughs> it's a bowling ball. It actually does yeah. look a lot like a bowling ball without is the it? holes, but it's it's full of plutonium. Uh, wow. And what it was. How did we get that from Pluto? <laughs> we called them up and said, hey, you guys got any bowling we balls? We called the people on Pluto. Got it. Okay. are like, hey, Plutonians. And they called it on, and it was, what year was this? 1940? Yeah, it was 46, World War II. Yeah, World War II. So they did use 45. those kind of phones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just. <laughs> 
I am sorry if you're an audio listener. That's disgusting. Whatever sound you that's, just made, I do not like. I get that you were trying to do the rotary phone, rotary phone, but it sounded like it was a slurp rather than a. Yeah, but if you live on Pluto, it's more slurpy than D. Yeah, Pluto, all their stuff is more slurpy. That's for sure. Where do you think we got the slurpy from? So plutonium <laughs> is a 14 pound ball of plutonium, and this is called the demon core. Yeah, it's the demon core. So there's only one of them. Yeah, so it was originally built to be the core of the third atomic bomb dropped Uh, in Japan after the fat man bomb. And so originally the plan was you drop the one, you drop the two, and then you say, we got another. Are you going to quit? Uh, and that yeah, was what demon core. It was really what they were going to do. Uh, they, were drop three of them. They, they were like, they dropped the one. They're like, Hey, we got another. Are you guys going to quit? And they're like, originally Japan was like, we don't believe the reports that are coming in. Cause like imagine how preposterous that would be. They didn't have video back then. They just got the news like by telegram that, that they dropped the whole, two bombs. that they dropped a bomb that the whole that flattened the whole city. And they were like, no, they didn't like that didn't happen. This oh, is a re- this is like yeah. a spy report and they're like you guys didn't do that and then they're like we got another we'll do it again and they're like no, you didn't do that. We don't believe you and so they dropped the second one and they're like holy cow by that time they were able to send people out there like holy cow. They did like they actually yeah. did have this bomb and they dropped a second. What one. was our guy's name that got away from it? We did an episode about oh. it. he survived man. I can't remember his name. He, did oh. the, he was at both of them. Yeah, man. I can't remember his name either <clears throat> dang anyways. Uh, but yeah, so then they were like, be a good cut. They're like, we're going to do a third and they're like, okay, we, we surrender, you know, uh, and this was the core of the third one. So naturally the scientists who developed it were like, well, I mean, now that we're not going to drop this bomb, maybe we should just kind of play with it a whole bunch. And is it the size of a bowling ball? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a, a 14 pound. Um, I don't know how, um, how heavy is plutonium? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's only three point five inches in diameter. So <laughs> it's like it's small. It's a small little marble uh, that weighs fourteen pounds. And what it is is it's two hemispheres of of this plutonium separated by this ring that's keeping it separate. And so the bomb would slip that ring and put it together and explode. And uh, that's the concept, uh, very crudely. Wow. And so they had this 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 uh, this orb. And the scientists were like, oh, we probably could just do a lot of tests with this and just learn some stuff. And so two days later, uh, a guy named by the name of Harry Daglin. uh, Harry Daglin. Literally two days after they were like, we're not going to do this anymore. uh, Was studying it with the group, studying it, learning about stuff about it. And later that day, like went home for for dinner and came back and was like, I'm going to do some more tests by himself just in this lab. There was a security guard, but that's it. Yeah, um, and so uh, he was messing around with it and he was he trying consulted to consulted his neighbor. <laughs> you know, who's a 14 year old boy scout <laughs> was like, hey, man, you want to help? Hey, me? man, what do you know about this? What do you know about plutonium? And he's like, he's like, he's like, go grab your pickles. <laughs> <laughs> grab your pickles. It's about to get wild. <laughs> he's like, he's like, man, this is a really big deal. Uh, I hate you. <laughs> I was just talking. I was just telling. Uh, we were watching the uh, North Point uh, Sunday messages. Yeah. And uh, if you don't know North Point is the church I was on staff at for a while. Uh, I love them a lot. Jeremy Johnson is the pastor, and Jeremy says, "Fill like uh, you got to fill that in." He mm-hmm. says those things like field. Mm. So like, you, mm. oh, if you do like, uh, come to Jesus and you'll be filled. But he says oh, yeah, he says yeah, yeah. meal and deal like mill and dill. So huh. he flips them. So he's like, oh, that's a big deal. <laughs> he says it all the time. He's like, oh, we're gonna share a meal together. Anyway, <laughs> like so when you do that, I'm like, okay, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. A big that deal. just reminds me of Jeremy. Is that like a, a, lot. a northwesterner thing? I think it is like a like a Seattle area thing. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Um, so, anyways, so he what he was doing is he was like, well, I'm, I've got these tungsten bricks. He's like, I'm gonna wrap these tungsten bricks around it, and he's like, he's like, that should stop it from going super critical. And then he's like, I'm just gonna get in, in there. In his house? No, nah, he's he's in the lab. Oh, he's like, okay, he's okay. like, I'm gonna mess around with it a little bit, you know, just kind of, just kind of, look at it, just kind of, you know, like uh, just touch it and see what happens. Well, what he didn't know is that the tungsten interacted with the neutrons in it and actually did make it go super critical. Uh, it did not create the shield he thought. Nobody had ever done this before. Sure. And so he thought he's like, he's like, this will make a shield and everything will be good. And then he's like, it actually made it way worse. So. He sticks his hand in there. Uh, it goes super critical and it burns the skin like immediately burns all the skin off of his hand. And so in the process, he like throws the brick like hits the bricks and knocks him over. So then it ends the super critical event. 
but it, it, the damage was already done. He had uh, taken in uh, 200 rad of like radiation. Like his hand is just, oh, he, so he's going to die. Yeah. And so I don't know what um, what the survivable dose of radiation is. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Um, What's the whole like don't sit too close to the microwave thing because it's putting off radiation, right? Yeah, that's just don't sit too yeah, close. Yeah, but like whenever I microwave things, I always, every time. I, just... <laughs> I gotta watch it. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm watch it do its thing. I <laughs> cannot wait for this mac and cheese. I do not care if it kills me. I want it now. I don't care if I die. Give me mac and cheese. That was it. That's the end of the point. <laughs> that's uh, that's all. That's all I had to say about that. Um, yeah, yeah. I always put my forks in with it. I put all the forks I know <laughs> in with it in cook just because it's really colorful and pretty. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, girl. You light me up more than a microwave full of forks. <laughs> Honey, where's the forks? They're in the fork drawer. I can only find 12. There's a lot more than this. They're in the fork drawer? Is that what they, yeah, yeah that's what we drawer. call our microwave is the fork drawer. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate holding a cold fork. Sue me, you know? No, you're, you're, no, you're going you're gonna to sue me because I burned down your house? Oh, sorry. I just... Yeah, you know, I really want to put an offer on this house, but their fork drawers on the counter, not above the oven, and I just really don't like that. Hey, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for serving us at Olive Garden. Can you m- warm up my fork? I would love a warm <laughs> fork, please. Yeah, just 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 put like, it. I could just put it in the microwave. <laughs> just drop it in the fork drawer just for a minute. Drop it in the in the for did you say for four minutes. <laughs> yeah, fork it for four, four. minutes. <laughs> I see a popcorn reheat thaw. There's no fork button. <laughs> it's under power. You hit power. You fork. You, you do it. Did you see my tweet the other day about my microwave? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you watch this episode and you see us drinking out of these mugs and you're like, I want to drink out of those mugs while I watch this episode, great news. You can purchase these at Tillin.com slash merch. We've got uh, these mugs, some shirts. We're going to put new designs out pretty often, so please keep up with that. And all that money goes to help support this podcast and make it uh, better. Make it better, yeah. Uh, Also, if you subscribe on Patreon, you can find out what we put in our mugs every week. Yeah, it's just air. Air. We just we're fake drinking. (laughs) <laughs> literally my back is a real sentence you just said hey did you see that nonsense i'm putting out on the internet <laughs> not a lot of people acknowledged it i think people saw the video of a microwave and were like i'm not interested in this which is fair um but here's what's happening if i this is so obscure i don't know how we found this but if I put the microwave on a power level of three and set it for 20 seconds, it gives me two bonus seconds. So it counts down. Oh, three, you did. Three, two, two one, one. And then it goes two, two one. one. Yeah, Every it's, time. It's kind of like Every whenever, time. like twice a year, I'll just be sitting there looking at my clock, you know, because I can't sleep. And then it'll just go from, you know, 12.59 to 2 a.m. And I'm like, what happened? <laughs> what just happened? Here, you know? <laughs> or sometimes it'll go 12, it'll go, it'll go 1.59 did, uh, to did, 1 o'clock. And I'm just like, what happened? Did I tell you about the time when we were in New Mexico and we we're staying in that haunted hotel? Um, it was before you got there on that leg of the trail. And you guys went to the like, spooky floor. Yeah, and the elevator. The elevator. What it did is that like, you would ride the elevator, and sometimes there's no button. There's two floors, but there was a third hidden floor. Yeah. Um, that was like sunk in like a pyramid, uh, so you couldn't see it from the street. Uh, but there's only two buttons on the elevator. But sometimes, if you rub the elevator up it would take you all the way to the third floor. And so we rode the elevator like 15 times trying to get it to happen. To the top floor. And so we were just like, first floor, second floor, first floor, second floor, first floor, second floor. And then one time it's like, ding, ding. And we were, we freaked. Like we were all like at the back of the elevator. Yeah. Like, ah, ah. And then it opens. And it, it opens. It was pitch black. And it, there was no, there was no 
uh, HVAC on this floor, and it's it, the summer, and it's hot. And it, so there's just warm heat just blasted us. It like opens up, it blasts us. The exit signs like dangling at the other end of the hallway, bro. It was spooky. Well, so the other night I was door dashing, and I delivered to uh, one of the hotels up here. And the way their whole thing is set up is one of those hotels where all the rooms face in, and there's like a giant lobby, you know, mm-hmm. kind of like that one we stayed at in Atlanta. Yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah, one's yeah. like three stories tall so it's not yeah. impressive yeah but there's two elevators one on each corner of this big rectangle mm-hmm. so i deliver i go up this one but the room that i was delivering to is like right by this other one so me and this other guy are getting in this elevator there's yeah. a sign that says service people only but I, but we looked at each other and we're like it goes down <laughs> you know <laughs> so we hit it it goes down and opens up to like a very like very dim lit uh, it's it's like the kitchen kind of area. Sur- it definitely service area yeah. that we're not supposed to be in. And the nice. person's supposed to flip a light switch and walk in that hallway, but the light switch is not done. So we both just look at each other like, well, I guess that's not it. <laughs> and shut the door. Uh, and so we have to. You have to go all the way to the other side of the hotel. She's supposed to walk over there. So I was like, I guess we have to go use that other elevator. And the door opens, and I just went, I'm gonna race you. <laughs> And he goes, ha, ha, ha. and I said, I'm not kidding. And I took <laughs> off sprinting. <laughs> Dude, I mean, like when I say I took off sprinting, I mean I was like, I'm not joking. <laughs> and then he started sprinting, and we sprinted around the whole thing. And I beat him, dude. I, I, I beat him bad. It wasn't even close. But I mean, it was fun. And then anyway. we got kicked out. Well, I, I was door dashing. I don't give a crap. <laughs> Uh, so I was door dashing. I was taking it <laughs> super serious. <laughs> I was dashing. Uh, yeah, Jaren, why do you think you deserve? And to I was go in a full suit because I was dashing. <laughs> you know, I was a dashing man who was dashing. I was a dashing, dashing door dasher. I'll tell you that. Okay. Well, all right. Um, so, so that was rough. I can't even remember what we're talking about. Right. Harry now. Daglin dashed to the hospital so because go back he had two hundred <laughs> rads or raids. I don't know how to pronounce this. Yeah, um, but it's just a measurement of how much radiation, radiation you got. Yeah, um, which is a lot. To any anywhere above two hundred, you're in the. You're probably going to get really sick or maybe even die. Range. What did you did you find out? What the most? Yeah, two hundred is that line. Where how it's much like does the microwave put off? Uh, gosh, I don't. Uh, that was what I thought you were looking up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't just, just Google how much radiation does a microwave put Alexa, how much radiation does a microwave put off? Here's something I found on the web. According to Yes, it did. Yeah, but that's not in rad. I don't know what that is. All right, whatever. Anyway, so he 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 got enough radiation. A lot. Like, this said five. Yeah, but that was milliwatts, which is not even what the, this is rads. Okay, Alexa, what is the milliwatts to rad conversion, conversion rate? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Useless. <laughs> Returner. Uh, so uh, he goes to the hospital, um, obviously severely burned. Hand, like, basically gone. Yeah, like, it's burned, like, all his skin's burned off. off like, not, yeah, like, it's burnt. It's, it's gone um, on his hand. And so uh, he gets really sick, starts throwing up, um, and eventually goes into a coma, and 25 later dies. Uh, 25 days? Yeah, 25 days later, he dies uh, from... From his, just from being that yeah, close that, to that for a couple of seconds for a couple of seconds in the demon core uh, and then uh, a couple of years later there was uh, a guy by the what guy. happens to the demon core then oh they kept it but they were like they're like we probably should be a little bit more precautious about this and yeah. so they set a new rule where any experiment you had to have at least two scientists present and then they hit they you created this tongs. like <laughs> pretty close actually they created this like system that would hold up the core so that way um, the pieces the pieces of the core that touched together to make it super critical couldn't touch together. So it was like a new rig that was supposed to keep it more safe. Um, but you know, people you know, are dumb. Yeah. So uh, there was a guy. Uh, let me see. The second incident. So this was at this the Los Alamos lab, which is the lab where they did all of their mm-hmm. the construction of all these these devices. Um, Los Alamos. Los Alamos, yeah. Los Alamos. Los Alamos. Yeah. Los, Los, Los Alamos. Yeah, I love the Los Alamos draft house. The Alamo draft house. Oh, 
took me a second to figure out what you're talking about. Yeah, it was about. a dumb joke. I was hoping that you were going to keep going, but you didn't. I was trying to figure out what you're Okay. Uh, so. <clears throat> we can cut it out. Great. Uh, so there was a physicist by the name of Lois. Alex actually wrote that down. That's super fun. Uh, we're not going to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Alex was like, oh, I guess we're going to cut that out. <laughs> Alex is very dumb with this, by the way. Look at his face. He's ready to get out of here. <laughs> He's not enjoying this anymore. Okay, so there was a guy named by the name of Lois Slotten. Lois, who, Lois, Lois Slotten, who was doing uh, 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 experiments in again in this uh, uh, lab. Lab, yeah. and he was a guy who he was uh, uh, a part of the original construction of all the bombs. He was the most experienced guy in the lab. Yeah, but he was kind of that guy who was like a little full of himself. Sure. Um, and so he'd walk in and be like, be like, I can do this with my eyes closed. You know. I mean, I've yeah. If you level different. two cities, then. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, whatever. And he's like, he actually like was fed up with being a part of the study, and he wanted to go on to other things, but they wouldn't let him leave until they found a replacement. And so he was just kind of fed up, um, and he would complain well, all the I time. Had a replacement. And he put <laughs> his hand off. Uh, he would complain all the time about uh, um, all the other people that he was working with because he, <laughs> this is the quote. He said, they're just not experienced as experienced as I am at bomb put together at this <laughs> bomb put together at this. <laughs> Uh, well, so this has been happening a long time, right? You can't get a job without experience, all right? But then you get there, you don't have enough experience, you yeah. know? Yeah, and then the other, the older guys are. And the older guys are like, they, these these people don't have enough experience in burger put together in this. <laughs> I put together it. This burger better than you put together it. Uh, but yeah, so uh, he was kind of full of himself, and he would he would kind of like show off for people with this thing all the time by making it go <laughs> yeah, like, critical. Pick it up and be like, "What's up, guys?" <laughs> That's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> he would take you take it, and so like they had these two hemispheres that if they touched, it would go super critical and like it just start putting off all this radiation yeah. and melt people and you know, bad deal. Well, what he would do so is he would he would grab one end of it with his bare hand. And then take a f- screwdriver and just stick a screwdriver between it, and then just hold it between each other with the screwdriver, and just be like, "Look how close together it is!" Like it's this close. He's like, <laughs> and everyone was just like, "Whoa, this is crazy!" Uh, yeah, and one person in the back is like, get, 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 "Stop!" Get, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> and and it was like because it was so close, it would start firing off neutrons, and so all this stuff would like start shooting out of it, but like it wasn't dangerous until it made contact. Uh, and he knew that, so he would just hold it in there with the fork. Obviously, breaking all of their their right. guidelines uh, that they have so for like, it. We made rules against this. Yeah, and he's just like, yeah, but look how cool this is. <laughs> uh, and he he even said, uh, he's like, he's like, if I uh, they have a picture of the was his name Harry, Harry Dagler. Yeah, they have a picture of him on the wall. <laughs> And they're like, like, remember what happened. Remember what happened. And he's like, he's like, yeah, but he wasn't as cool as me. He's like, yeah, but he didn't have as much experience in bomb put together in this <laughs> as I do. So, yeah, that guy, the hairy guy, was twenty four. Can you imagine? Think about the things that you were doing at twenty four, and they let this guy mess around with the most dangerous thing we've ever built. I let you mace me. <laughs> I know, and that was, that was irresponsible. <laughs> and they're letting this guy just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna mess with this thing yeah. and see what happens. Like this literally well, like twenty four year olds have children. That's a crazy thing, you know. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So, and a coworker actually said um, was trying to get the slot guy kicked out because he was so just like constantly doing stupid stuff uh, and reported to HR, <laughs> the HR department at the freaking atomic bomb lab. <laughs> And they're like, okay, guys, we have leveled two cities and murdered countless people. But sexual assault is not a joke. (laughs) Those jokes have no place in the workplace. No place in this place. No place. Not here. Not now. Not ever. Uh, so Enrico, and then, and then that guy was over there with the screwdriver, just leans over. And says, uh, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Enrico Fermi uh, told reporters, he's like, he's like, yeah, if Slotten keeps his job, we'll be dead within a year. Is what <laughs> is what he tells them. Wow. Uh, well, lo and behold, one of these days, Slotten's doing his classic uh, experiment that was nicknamed by others, tickling the tail of the sleeping dragon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like <laughs> here goes Lois again, tickling the dragon's tail. 
that makes that's a shorter thing than what you said. <laughs> Because what was it? Tickling the tickling the tail of a sleeping dragon. Of a sleeping dragon is so many words <laughs> that it's just like it's way more words than what he was doing. It's like oh yeah, I mean like he's holding the bomb pretty close together, and then you can be like, well he's. It sounds like he's like there he goes, tickling the tail of a sleeping dragon. <laughs> and you're like. <laughs> All right, F- freaking Lewis. Yeah, uh, yeah. All sorry. right, Rumpelstiltskin over there. <laughs> the words. What are you doing? Uh, so yeah, so Lewis is doing that same experiment with it's the like screwdriver. An old man with a long beard in the corner, tickling the tail of a sleeping dragon. <laughs> Have you no remorse or memory of what happened to Harry? <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Uh, Lewis is doing the same experiment he's done all, all the, time. the time. Oh, this time screwdriver, screwdriver slips. The thing makes contact with itself. And so luckily he thinks quick and pulls off the top half of it and like chucks it. So it was only a split second um, that it was enough, that but it was enough that so he obviously had to go to the hospital. He took in a dose of a thousand rad, um, which is significant. Yeah, um, and doctors <clears throat> Uh, examining him called his burns three dimensional burns because he basically had sunburns to the bone. Uh, And so uh, literally all the way through uh, was burnt. Uh, And then he had extreme like gastrointestinal issues. He was throwing up, uh, died within nine days. Um, Wow. Everybody else in the room uh, was exposed. Not nearly as bad as him. He took the blunt force of it because he was right next to it. Everybody else was somewhere between seven and uh, 150 rad they took in from okay. the thing. So some people um, got off pretty easy. But, yeah. Uh, but well, that pretty easy. I mean, they still probably had effects, right? Did anybody else yeah. die from that? So anyone who uh, got over, let's see, I think it was over 10 rad ended up with some form of cancer mm-hmm. in their life. And they were they all died from that. The ones who had single digits died of natural causes, um, or lived on for uh, a number of years after that. But wow, um, and yeah, anybody who got over ten rad uh, lived through that. So the original intent for this was they were going to take it and they were going to bring it to Bikini Atoll and have it be a part of their next phase of nuclear testing. After the second event, what they did is. Uh, they actually melted it down and put it as a part of the nuclear stockpile. So they separated it out yeah. into a bunch of other other nukes now. And so it's it's in the stockpile, the pieces of it, the leftover pieces of it. Um, they, you can't get the initial demon core because it's, it's quite literally Gone. possessed. Um, Which is great because I mean, it had screw mark, screwdriver marks all over it anymore. <laughs> it wasn't in pristine condition anymore. <laughs> yeah, it was damaged. The previous owners didn't do a good job. Um, but probably my most... The most interesting part of the Demon Core uh, is that it, it will obviously wasn't always called the Demon Core. That was nicknamed that after it had taken both the lives of these yeah, people. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was for a long time, it was called the Tale of the Sleeping Dragon. And they're like, Demon I wish. Core was shorter. I wish. Before that, it was called Rufus. <laughs> Which is pretty, I mean, pretty great, you know? Rufus. Lewis is over here messing with Rufus again. <laughs> He's got his, he got his screwdriver in Rufus. <laughs> And HR's like, what's he doing to Rufus? What is that? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, you, oh mean, you mean you mean the, oh, you mean the bomb okay. thing? We were worried that it was okay. Ooh. We're clear as long as wow. Ooh. That's not an HR issue. That is somebody else. Somebody else is gonna have to deal with that. So Yikes. Yeah. Uh yeah, so I mean, that's the demon core, man. Yeah. And there's like, demonic. That's pretty crazy. That's, did you say pretty demonic? <laughs> it's pretty rufu- ruf- rufus Demon ruf- core. Rufus? Demon core sounds rufus like hunter. what they want, like the next level of metal core to be, yeah. though, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's like, it's like, hey, you guys are really breaking out in metal core scenes. Sorry. Sorry. Demon no, core? We actually record metal core songs and play them backwards, and yeah. that is demon. We actually record metal core songs, and we email them to the devil at gmail.com, and he sends the us devil. back. The devil at gmail.com. He responds and says, This is garbage. Signed, The Devil. Devil, architect, archaeologist, cosmetologist, 
Tale of the Sleeping Dragon <laughs> and Professional Fiddler Off. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching Things I Learned Last Night. If you liked that, there are more episodes you can watch or you can watch some highlights, but please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an episode in the future.